Recently, I started this initiative of real-time walkthroughs for busy parents or professionals who don't have the time to see a property that they've seen online. Sometimes this helps really weed out properties that they're not too crazy about and we can just move on. As a new father and who also purchased a home and moved with a four month old, I understand how difficult it can be to find that time to see houses. So this inspired the idea. You can be sitting at home with your baby, you know, she could be or he having a little bit of a nap and we do a first walkthrough and you see if this home is worth your time. So this is a little sample of what I would do. This is recorded, however, for my clients, we would do this in real time. Away we go. Okay, here we go. As you see, we're entering the property here and we're met with a big, large staircase, like a Scarlett O'Hara style. Some people are fans of this and some people aren't. You'll have to make up your mind. We are actually in 22 Hammond Drive in Aurora, Ontario. Uh, it's a 3,600 square foot property, four bedroom, three bath with a finished basement, an in-ground pool with hot tub and outdoor waterfall and entertainment area. So directly to our left is me in the mirror and your first sitting room, your more traditional style living room, fair size room, probably about uh, maybe 15 long by 10 wide. You turn right into your traditional style dining room. Um, on first glance, the partition wall that separates these two rooms doesn't appear to be load bearing in my opinion. Um, so you would probably be able to open this up to create more of that open feeling as well as the wall that is leading us to the kitchen area. We're walking north in the home. So you can see here a good sized kitchen with a big area here. Uh, this is a very large eight person table. It only has four chairs on it, but it, this video really doesn't do justice how large this room is. Um, it's nice and bright um, and a good area to entertain if you have a big family or lots of friends. Looking outside, it is snowy and cold today, but there in the back, those stacked rocks are a waterfall style feature that drip down into that pool. Um, you have an outdoor gazebo, and a hot tub over there. And I believe there is also a hot tub uh, buried under the snow. Uh, the lot is fairly deep. It's about 167 deep um, and there's a lot of mature trees. Um, here are the photos we've put on the counter so you can have a good idea of what you see back there. You can see even though you have houses to the left and the right of this home, um, you are actually pretty secluded. So continuing on, there is sort of a little breezeway here. Uh, to another sitting area with a real woodworking fireplace. Um, of course, if you wish, you could put a gas or electric insert in there, uh, but right now it is a functioning wood fireplace. Um, the living room has two, well, sitting area. Our family room has a, a, a drop floor, to sort of create a, a separation, if you will. I'm walking through. So as you can see, the stairs are relatively in the center of the home. Um, they clearly are a decorative feature. So now we're, you can see this is the view sort of from the kitchen area and me in the mirror. Um, the, the builder was Senator uh, and it was built in 89. Um, something to consider, in some models that I've seen, um, people have renovated this model and in this sitting area here, this raised sitting area that you'll get a better view of um, when we go upstairs, uh, they've actually, I've seen people convert it into a bathroom um, and then create uh, Jack and Jill walk, like a walk-in uh, bathroom for the guest bedrooms or children's bedrooms. Um, going up the stairs, we enter the master bedroom, a very large master, tons of room. You can hear my echoing voice, very large. Large walk-in closet directly off the bathroom and with a large bathroom, big walk-in shower, nice soaker tub, everything that you could ask for. It's a good size. Again, very large. And the master overlooks the pool and outdoor entertainment area. So here's a better look at that area. So you could leave it as a sitting room. You might be able to put a desk there if you wanted to. There's enough space. Um, I thought of, when I saw a bathroom put there, uh, they had put a wall up um, and made uh, that a bathroom with a shower and toilet. Um, because down there, I, I forgot to show you, but right in that room there, 
that is a powder room. So you could tie into that main drain and the vent stack. Um, and uh, I think it would be a nifty use of space. Some people uh, may not be big fans of that, but it is possible. Um, we're walking into one of the three children's bedrooms or guest bedrooms. Um, this wall here, it is a little dark and a little tight, I will say. Um, but there wouldn't be anything if you wanted to maybe do a cutout um, or something to help sort of make it feel airy. So this is one of the first bedrooms. All bedrooms have a nice, nice size closets. See, here just traditional style. Um, outside of this bedroom, uh, this is the uh, uh, the roof of the garage actually. Um, so it looks like it could be a walkout, but it's not. But it's a flat style uh, tarred the whole nine yards. And now we're in that space that you could turn into a little office, sitting area, bathroom, whatever you wish. And that's the master bedroom directly in front of me there. And you have a good view of down into the kitchen, down the stairs. And now we're into one of the other bedrooms. Got all of these cool chandeliers. This is another good size bedroom with another standard two door closet. Now this hall on the other side has the bathroom that is shared for the bedrooms up here other than the master. So you can see why adding that extra bathroom there could be a nifty idea, which would give you uh, another bathroom, uh, three total on the upper floors. And this is the last of the extra bedrooms, which has a nice view of the outdoor area. Okay, that's a quick walkthrough of the upstairs and main floor. I'll quickly show you the basement. Um, it's a large basement, uh, seeing that uh, it pretty much is the whole foundation of this whole house. And before I let you go, I'll show you the mudroom slash laundry room. Okay, we're in the large finished basement. The basement here was all fresh carpeting. Um, lots of space for children to run about, have a lot of fun. A lot of great space here to, if you wanted to create another bedroom, uh, another bathroom, um, tons and tons of uh, entertainment space here. You could put a sort of like an entertainment room, movie theater, you name it. You've got literally everything you could do here. Tons and tons of space. Again, the video is not doing this justice, but I've seen a lot of basements and this one's a fairly, fairly hefty size. Now, Finally down here, you got three options for storage. This here is cold storage room number one. Your standard and the light is actually burnt out, so I apologize for that. But just your standard cold storage, good wine cellar, preservatives, whatever you may want. And same thing on the other side where this current owner actually has a fridge and freezer in here and there's a lot of extra room in there. And finally, you have a good sized storage room down here where it houses the furnace and the hot water tank. And you can see, or no, you can't see because it's too dark. There we go. You can see that they, the wall they built there to close off the bedroom on that support beam up there. That would be fairly easy to manipulate uh, should you want to make this smaller or larger for storage, depending on your family's needs. All right, well, that's it. Um, it's pretty quick. The concept is that uh, you get a good idea. I walk through it, we walk through it together, and you tell me, hey, Julian, I wanna see this per house in person, and we come see it uh, a second time. Or, you know, sometimes people can just make that decision. They know what they want. But just before I let you go, here's the powder room, which is located just off sort of the front door, as well as mud room slash laundry room and garage access. This house does have a uh, two-car garage. Okay, we're all done. I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough to help give you a good idea on how I do this. Again, real-time walkthroughs can be a good tool uh, for those who work shift work, who have just had children, uh, busy commuters, or people who are really short of time. Um, as we all know, some homes photograph really well, and by the time we get there, they're kind of, eh, 
So this is a way for us to weed those homes out so that way hopefully every home that I take you to is a home that you actually really want to see. If we were to do this together, we would go slow, take our time, I could zoom in on things, really try to describe it a lot more in depth. Um, for the purposes of demonstration, I really kind of just breeze through this house because it's 3,600 square feet and it takes uh, a little bit of time to get through it. So should this be something that you're interested in, please click the link below or give me a call or shoot me an email. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.